gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is Welcome back to my channel y'all. I know it's been a long time since I posted a long form video But I posted a picture of the hibachi that I made at home. It went super viral y'all requested for the recipe However, I do not measure half the time when I'm cooking So I thought it would be best to just do a visual content for y'all and make a video So of course I start off with my ribeye steak y'all and then I'm gonna go ahead and cube it up to your preference then i'm going to go in with some soy sauce and some fresh minced garlic next let's add my new favorite seasoning for my steak this is the kinders it's called the blend absolutely love it on my steak i've been using it since um for for a minute now but you don't need too much because when you got the soy sauce and the fresh minced garlic going and that's going to give it like really really good flavor y'all and you're going to set that to the side while you go ahead and prepare the rest it have to go back and like take some more of that fat off of my steak i didn't want too much fat on my steak like that and yes i'm using my washed hands i'm cooking this for myself so now let's go on into the zucchini and the yellow squash now you're going to split this and you're going to divide it and then so it can be split in halves and then you're going to cut it accordingly Now off camera, I did went ahead and I cut up half of the onion to go with the zucchini once I started cooking it. Now this is the start of the show. This is the garlic butter that I'm about to make. This is what makes the hibachi actually taste so freaking good. It's the butter. I'm telling you, it's not the yum yum sauce. It's the dang on garlic butter. Now there is many ways that you can make garlic butter of course but this is how i made it now you're going to take some softened butter one stick and you're going to cut up a bunch of fresh garlic you're going to miss it really good i did not measure y'all you have to taste as you go i'm going to add some soy sauce and i'm also going to add in just a little bit of that kinder's the blend seasoning to go in with it i'm also going to add some heavy whipping cream which is entirely optional you're going to mix this really 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 good because you really want to make sure all that garlic, the seasoning, the soy sauce, you want to make sure that it's all through the butter. how good this steak is looking already since it's been sitting there and all those good sauces and seasonings and whatnot it ain't even got cooking yet and it's already looking good now this is the white rice we want this to be at least a day old or you can go to your uh, chinese takeout and just order some white rice from them i'm going to add in some oyster sauce and some soy sauce and mix it up really good so that that color is throughout the whole rice and it's not just white anymore Now, unfortunately, I wanted peas and just carrots. They didn't have it at my nearest Kroger, so I had to get the veggies that I had to get. But it would just only be peas and carrots. But this is what they had left, y'all. And I just wanted to hurry up and do the video for y'all. So use the veggies that you prefer. 
I would have preferred just peas and carrots, but this is what I had to get. Now, you're going to go ahead and um, add in your egg right on the side. You don't have to do this separately at all. Scramble it on up and mix it all with through the rice. Add as much eggs as you want. I added two at first, but I ended up adding another one because I just wanted more egg in there. So, yeah, I wanted just a little bit more egg action. So, I did add one more egg after this setting. I have seen people still ask why do you have to use like day old rice and the reason that is because if you use rice that you just cooked it's nine times out of ten is going to be mushy so it's best to let the rice be super super cold for some hours because that way it'll be more firm when you're doing all that mixing and stuff like that in the pan so that's why you should use the day old rice it's just way way better. All right, y'all, so I did go ahead and add in that garlic, that same garlic butter that we made earlier. That's what I added in the pan at first before adding in the zucchini, the yellow squash, and the um, onions. Now, I don't know how y'all like to cook y'all zucchinis and stuff like that, but especially when I'm doing like a hibachi meal, I really like to get that seared look on my veggies. That's just how I like mine. Not burnt, but I like it to be like really seared, really beautiful and that's what i did and also don't forget that i did add some mushrooms to this because mushrooms and steak is just like the perfect duo to me so i always add mushrooms when i'm making hibachi at home this is the beautiful look that i was talking about this is how i like it to look and then i'm going to go ahead and turn that heat off now we're about to get ready for the big daddy steak coming on through oh my goodness y'all it look good already so listen i did end up cutting it again just a little bit in half because some of the pieces just a few of them was too big so i did cut it in half just a little bit for the downtime for the cooking and once you see it seared just like that, y'all, for about two to three minutes on each side, it honestly depends on the thickness of your steak. Once the steak is about done, now you're gonna add some more of that delicious garlic butter. This is when you really want to implement the garlic butter on the steak, the start of the show. Listen, y'all, that garlic butter takes the steak to a whole new level and it just releases the most beautiful tasting juices from the steak. It is so good, I kid you not. After the steak is done, um, you want to go ahead and plate it beautifully as you wish, as if you are at a hibachi grill spot. I did add some yum yum sauce, but not too much because the garlic butter is what really all I needed. It just took it to a whole new level. If you try out this recipe, if you do this exactly how I did it, let me know how you like it. And let me know what video y'all want me to make next in the comments. It was totally good. <laughs>